at home with Power BI. I'm Zahir Brim for Sigma BI. Today I'm going to show you how to use the concatenate function using DAX. Now this is not the best way to get the result that you want by using this function. It's just to show you how concatenate works. Now concatenate is used to combine more than two columns into one. And I'm going to show you how you do that. Are you ready? Come take a look. Let's go. So there's many reasons why uh, you'd want to concatenate and use this function. Um, and it's basically using this function to combine two columns into one, perhaps even more if you need B. The most common one is usually for dates, um, if they're in separate columns. Um, but if you're looking at a business perspective, um, if you wanted to put product name with product number together. Um, some people require that. Um, you could use this function to do that. Um, but in this example, I'm going to show you how to do it by a date. So this is just, uh, just using concatenate and it's using DAX. So if we just go to, if you just go into the data view in Power BI, and we just got to add a column, <clears throat> that will then open up formula bar and in here we're going to say right okay if we're going to do it for dates uh, we're going to say the we want the month we want the day number and the month number to be together so for example um, the first of december second december that kind of thing we want them together uh, and i want to see it and i want to concatenate both of them together so what we do is okay so we've got let's put day number Number and month <clears throat> equal, and we are going to concatenate, and then we're going to say the have the day number first, okay, and then what we're going to do is concatenate again. And then we're going to want a space in between. And then we're going to want the month name. Close that up. Close that up too. <clears throat> that gives us the day number and the month name. 1st December, 1st June. So if you then want to say, right, okay, um, <clears throat> I want to put the year in there as well, because I want them all together, I want it to be nice and neat, just show it like that. <laughs> There's probably no reason for doing this, we, we, do, we already have a, a column for that here, um, but I'm just using this as an example of using a kind of function, why you would want to do this for a, for a date. I don't know <laughs> for any, but this is just basically uh, using this function to um, give you an example as you can use it in, in other ways as well. So let's just carry on and get this sorted. So we put all the concatenates. We now finally need to put the final one in. So we're going to use this function again. We're just going to so enter, okay, let's go cut in it again, open that up, and I'm going to say, right, okay, we want the, so we've got the month in there, and then we're going to say, right, okay, we want a, okay, and then we are going to concatenate it again, and then we're going to say, right, we want the space, but then we're going to put the year. Uh... Okay, so that should now do it. So we've got the day, number, and month, and year. That is how you use a concatenate function. 
Um, this is ideal for, for you to use um, if you want you to combine two columns together. And it's easy as that. If you've got any questions, um, please leave them in the comments below or get in contact with me through the link in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys. At home with Power BI with me, Zaheer Raymond. Learn with us by subscribing to our channel to get updated on our latest videos.